Welcome to Hot Dog Headquarters and HotDogHeadquarters.com. Ken here in the kitchen and today I'm going to walk you through how we make the Memphis Dog. Well, not originally a hot dog recipe, I discovered this delicious deep south taste combination at a barbecue joint on Beale Street in Memphis, Tennessee in 1990. And I knew immediately that it would make for a truly and unexpectedly delicious hot dog. So let's roll on down the river and I'll show you how I make my recipe for the Memphis dog. Well as always we start off with a soft and warm freshly steamed Martin's potato bun. And I assure you that when it comes to buns, and I've tried them all, then for the perfect balance of taste and ingredient holding capacity, I've yet to find a better hot dog bun than Martin's potato bun. In building this dog, I like to start off with a hot and delicious pork dog and depending on where you live you can find whatever regional brand you can get but here in central North Carolina we are able to find several good pork dogs like Roger Woods, Brightleaf, or Stevens. The first thing I like to add to this dog is a nice bottom stripe of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Now this sweet and tangy barbecue sauce really makes it home at the base of every bite in this hot dog. Next, I like to add a nice portion of crumbled bacon. Now, not bacon bits, mind you, but rather, I use only real deal bacon so that you get a full, rich, over-the-top, farm-fresh bacon flavor in every bite. After the bacon, I like to jump over the dog and lay in a nice run of freshly chopped sweet southern onions. While some folks in the kitchen like to place their onions on top of every dog in their menu, I like to change the place of the onions in the overall build with every dog so that the flavor and texture combine at the right time and the right place to give you the most rewards in every bite. And on the Memphis dog, I like to keep the onions low in the bite so that they mix evenly with the bacon and don't overpower the palate as they're going down to Happy Town. Now it's time to seal all those delicious vegetable and meat core flavors together with a top layer of hand grated extra sharp Wisconsin cheddar cheese. Now when it comes to shredding cheese you may think it's a simple standard process but I've found over the years that different cheeses in various recipes produce a better flavor when shredded in a certain way. And in case of the Memphis dog I like to use a ribbon grater which produces a thin and airy spiral shred that melts quickly when heated and this in turn allows for the release of its naturally flavorful oils without a lot of burn. So then I like to give this dog a touch of the torch and flame melt the cheese as the direct flame also gives a hint of smoky flame kiss flavor that everybody loves. Then I like to book in the flavors with a wavy little top band of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce again. This little signature touch not only makes the dog look even more delicious than it already is, but it also gives your top teeth and your jaw teeth some good to talk about. And as it is in life, communication is the thing that turns strangers into friends and friends into family. And as always, I like to seal the deal on this dog and cut loose the whole mix of flavors with a dash of sea salt and just a pop of ground black pepper and it is ready to eat and enjoy. So whenever you find yourself dog hungry and unsatisfied with your usual dining options, you just head on over to Hot Dog Headquarters, order yourself up a couple of these hot, delicious, one-of-a-kind Memphis dogs, and I guarantee that they will keep you from singing the same old hot dog blues. So come on see us online now at HotDogHeadquarters.com, or pay us a visit in person and have a bite with us at Hot Dog Headquarters, 11 East James Street, Lillington, North Carolina, 27546, U.S. of A. Thank you and God bless.